Uh, hello everyone, today I'm looking at uh, this new art book from Lobster Robin. Uh, it's called Seek and Find and uh, it's it's good. Um, well to be fair, it's not just good, it's actually really good. Um, but further than that, it's not just really good, it's really god damn annoyingly fuck. God. Oh. It's the sort of good that makes me look at my own art books and go, ah, pooh, what a load of shit I've been making. I need to go back and rethink all my goddamn past thoughts on putting art books together. Well, it's not necessarily better, it's just different. And it's not just different, it's good. Uh, Lobston Robston. Lobston ro lob Lobster Robster. Lobster the Robster Robin. Lobstin the Robin Robster has... Oh look, it's personalised! That's my name, Evwin. Or however you pronounce that stupid name. That's cool. A little doodly skull. More on the shapes and such later. And look, he even inscribed it. P.S. I know you tend to not care about the state of your art books. Oh, <laughs> tee hee. Guilty as charged. Because I don't care. Um, but please be gentle, okay? Okay. Well, he did say please. So we're going to do this. No, I, um, I, because I like this book and I like it as a book, I go on and 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 on about how I love books as objects. I like how they feel, the dimensions and shit. Yeah, I like books as physical things that you can hold. I like them. And this is definitely one of them. It certainly is a book, but it's, it's nice dimensions. It's not like A4 size because that's a little bit too tall. It's a little bit shorter and... White, it's got it's a good thickness, a good matte feel to anyway. Who gives a shit? Let's look at the art in the art book. That's cool. Lobster Robston, Lobston, Lobster Rob Robin the Lobster is an artist from Belgium. Um which of course takes its name from getting the helmet of your penis pierced, and you get a gemstone put in the piercing, and that becomes your bell gem. Your Belgium, your Belgium. Those are cool. That's all right, I guess. Um, he's from Belgium. He does street art, graffiti art, like paintings on walls. This is cool. The drawing and then the painting inspired by the drawing. He's got a really cool style, though. It's very... I don't, I don't know if it is, but, like, it's... I feel... It's got a European feel to his look, like a European sensibility to how he approaches certain like aspects of colour and design and draftsmanship and shit. Um, he's, yeah, street artist, graffiti man, spray can user, also illustrator, painter, drawer of pictures, creator of content some personal work but this book in terms of books of art otherwise known as art book um this is really good because it's got such a good mix of stuff it's got like personal paperwork it's got photos of his, his street paintings photos of him and his friends and like him in his studio space and stuff which is something i really feel that's lacking from the art books i've put out um if I can talk about me, God, heaven forbid I talk about someone else for more than five minutes and then turn it back onto myself again. Um, what I'm saying is I find books like this very inspirational. These really cool drawings and things. I love drawings. I love looking at drawings. Drawings. Because um, they're really good. I love his the, the shapes. And his line work, his like not too neat and tidy lines, and he puts little sh bits of shadow in the right places. Not necessarily in like the right places, but just in places that it looks good. I love the animal head shapes he uses and stuff, and the 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 the, the not quite juxtaposition, but the amalgamation, yeah, of like animal heads on people, which isn't you know the most original idea on the planet, but. It's good nonetheless, and it's good to see different artists use that same sort of thing to do art with 
There's also some more sort of like introspective. He uses words. In times of despair, it can be hard to see the progress you've made. The seeds you planted earlier have already started growing without you noticing. Eh? 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 A little bit, you know, a bit of waffle. Don't really need it, but it's cool to see it anyway. It's something else, a bit different. Stickers, all graffiti and street artists love some stickers. And i got to say, I fucking love Lobster Robin stickers. I think they're great. The, the, I gotta say the shapes he uses for his like just sticky out eyes and snouts and animal head skull shapes are cool and they don't look like traditional like cartoon skulls they've got some a bit more like sort of life and character to them big googly almost booby eyes the horns and the tusks and things some good shit man um more drawings. These are some of my favourite pages, which is that I, I go on and on about all the this this art book so good because it's got photos of graffiti and photos of him in his studio. That's the man, isn't he pretty? I like his moustache. I'm not usually a fan of just a moustache. I guess he does have more going on than just a moustache, but the moustache is quite prominent on the guy, and I uh, I don't hate it. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> Rubbish. That's what that is. No, I'm sure it's cool, but uh, you know. Him there working on his stickers. That's, you get such a good vibe. I really like images like this because they really, for me, they call back to the book Subway Art, if you know that one. The, what's seen as the uh, the Bible for graffiti artists from back in the day. Um, that was such an important book for a lot of like graffiti writers or people who started writing graffiti or who were interested in graffiti. Um, but there's a couple of pages in the whole book. It's mostly just pictures of trains with paintings on. Um, but there's a couple of pages that show some of the writers in their like little little home spaces, their little rooms with other writers and showing you like handfuls of spray can caps and like uh, lifted keys and stuff, copied keys and them um, writing in their black books with a whole bunch of friends around with a boom box going and they're just working in their black books, uh, practicing pieces and stuff. And that gave you such uh, um, an almost out of nowhere, like unprecedented insight, just those couple of pages, those few pictures, um, an insight into the world behind the graffiti, behind the art of writing graffiti. Um, and that's what this vibe gives off to me. Not quite on the same level as something like Subway art, you know, it's been done, but even so, um, yeah, just because just you see all this cool artwork and you love it and you go, wow, this guy's clearly fucking good at what he does. But then, then you get to see like a little snippet, just a little, little in the workings. So I go on and on and on about, uh, you know, this book's great because it's got photos of his graffiti stuff, his wall paintings, his cool jacket with his name painted on it. Some of his more like traditional paintings on boards and things, his funny little blur. blur. And then uh, ultimately my favorite parts are just the pages of drawings, which is the exact shit I put in my uh, art books. So maybe I should just be content with what I do, but I really like his drawings. I like his, again, shapes, colors, eyeballs and shit. It's all good. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fat, more stickers. The, the shape of that skull, that's so cool, man. Like it's not, it's nothing outrageous. It's not like you look at it and go, wow, why have I never decided to draw a skull that shape? It's just neat, yeah. Silly lobster stickers are for kids. He throws in little bits of words like that as well. A man after my own heart. Which, I, you know, not to talk about myself too much, but uh, I think Lobster Robin and, and I, I think I can consider us friends. Um, I really like some of his lettering as well. He does some really good stuff with that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've spoken to the guy a, a few times. We share messages back and forth now and again. Um, lovey dovey little little passing love note to class um and he's he's even said and i i've agreed that we have some similar sensibilities in terms of uh, how we view uh, the creation of art and art as a whole and illustration and 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 uh, approaching drawing things um and using like little bits of wordings and stuff silly silly lobster stickers are for kids uh, yeah, that's quite a similar thing. I do things like that now and again. If not straight up in the, the drawings themselves, then in captions on Instagram or whatever. That's a really cool painting. 
And I like that he does like sort of slightly moodier stuff that, and I, I know from talking to him, he does put uh, actual like thought and emotion, like this may have some meaning to it. It might just be a nice painting, but it may well have some meaning. There's uh, a painting he did of a, a crab that may just look like a, a big old painting of a crab, but speak to him about it and he'll tell you, no, there's there's actual like meaning and emotion to it. Yeah, I love his rough looking line work and I know other people have pointed out that they like his uh, his his rough looking line work and then he's shown what he actually does is just sort of sloppy like blur not even really trying which is almost fantastic that it's he, it's almost effortless and he makes it look so good. Oh look it's like he's got wings like he's some kind of angel or like a turd with wings. That's cool. I love split things. He does a lot of that that I do as well, like split drawings and random floating heads and stuff. More cool drawings. These look like they could be like self-portraits, which is quite cool. I, do, I love his jacket, man. And that's another thing as well that's like a throwback almost, where back in the day of early graffiti writer days, they'd have like their name on the back of their jacket, but they paint like really elaborate, like subway scenes with trains and lights and graffiti and b-boys and all kinds of shit on their jacket. So that's almost like a throwback to that, but like just lobster. I like that, man, I like that. That's good shit, floating heads, weird animal heads, roller paint and the, and the, the shit. It's good, it's good stuff. Paintings on scape. The, the mix of stuff, that's one of the best things about this book is the mix of stuff in here. Um, there's so much variety and most of it's good. Oh, tee hee. Um, I won't say any of it, or I won't say that any of it is bad. And that's one thing I, I feel that, uh, you know, I've done some street art in my time, a bit of graffiti painting here and there, but very few pieces that I'm genuinely proud of enough that I'd want to that's not the first page. It's like in the middle of the book. What the fuck is he doing? That's stupid. <laughs> um, more cool drawings. But yeah, I, I don't have enough cool wall paintings that I'd happily throw a load of photos into an art book. Whereas one of the benefits of doing so much work on walls as he does is you get cool photos like this. That's just a cool photo with his work on the side of a building. Whereas all of mine is shitty little bits of paper, scraps and stuff. Which, you know, it's not better, it's not worse, it's just different. We work different ways, I know. But I think the main thing is, looking through this book, it makes me think I'd like to have more variety in my own art books. Um, and then maybe I'll just start drawing exactly like Lobster Robin. I'll just become a Robster... A ro did I call him Lob Robster Robin? Lobster, Lobster Robin. I'll just become a little, a little clone of him. And then start doing what he does better than he does it. And then I'll kill him. And I'll shave his moustache off and glue it onto my face. These are cool drawings too. That one was used earlier, but we won't dwell on that. Um, I love these little little collages of... They're, they're all cool, man. Look funny little characters and big heads. Skulls, cool skulls and shit. More stickers, colour themed stickers. That's a cool painting. He's good, man. He's really good. I really admire his work. I admire the amount of work he does. I admire the the range, the different stuff he does. Like, because, you know, just fucking cool dinosaur-looking guy. And that's cool, and it's like, that's the same thing, but upside down, and face and hands, and just funny skulls. And this is really cool. He painted a duck hunter and someone uh, thought it was like pro hunting. Uh, he says a little bit about it here and painted over it. But then he went back and repainted it because clearly they didn't understand it was a literal duck doing the hunting, like getting back at the hunters or something like that. And they painted over it because they were dummies. So he repainted it. He painted a, a, another duck hunter. And uh, I really like it. I think it's good. Which is ultimately going to be my my uh, conclusion to this video is yeah it's good funny little sculptures doing the whole like scanning something on a scanner and then you move it and it goes weird I've done some of that bit of experimentation in there ah oh, man and I saw this he posted it on Instagram this was a commission and I was annoyed at how good it was. 
And if you really pay attention, it's not to diminish how good it is, but if you pay attention and look at the brush strokes used, <clears throat> it's relatively simple in terms of how it's built as a painting. But it's done so very, very skillfully with a good eye for colour and design and paying attention to what the fuck tigers look like. It's just a good painting, man. I'm really annoyed by that, I guess. Whatever. More cool paintings. That's cool too. Square heads. Lots of collaborative work. That's cool. Painting on a globe. I once did, um, I, I got an old basketball and I painted it like a jack-o'-lantern, like a pumpkin for Halloween because they're kind of... But then I never thought about painting on a globe. You could do like several faces and spin it around. That's really cool. Octopuses are cool. I think every artist has drawn an octopus at some point. Uh, yeah. Big up. Robster Lobbin. Lobstin Rob Rob. Robbie the Lobstob. Uh, good guy. Good sound guy. Good book. Bloody good book. Annoyingly good book. Um, and he sent me some stickers too. And I've collaborated with him. And look. Cox. Pink cocks. 